parties to this action. I noticed during the initial ceremony that the maternal grandfather is here. Welcome. I uh, so appreciate your presence. It is very meaningful uh, to the court and I'm sure to your daughter and her husband as well. Who else is joining you here? Very close friends. <laughs> close friends? Um, Fantastic. And people that help us a lot. Okay. Nancy, Paula, Cindy. Well, it is uh, terrific, again, that you enjoyed this degree of support for um, the significance of uh, what you're doing today. The court previously had an opportunity to read through the files, and I do um, confirm, take judicial notice of the consent executed by Frank Alexander, who is the director of the Department of Housing and Human Services, to have the court proceed. The court also read through a number of reports that have been prepared by the Department of Housing and Human Services and would hope that Ms. Coleman would be available to provide testimony this morning. And Ms. Coleman, if you would then come up to the witness stand, where I understand a chair is missing, but perhaps you don't mind it's standing. Okay. No right. problem. If I may please swear you in as a witness, if you could raise your right hand, do you solemnly swear or affirm under penalty of perjury that your testimony today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Uh, Ms. Coleman, what is your full legal name, please? Nancy Coleman. And Ms. Coleman, how are you employed? Um, I'm employed by the Boulder County Department of Health and Human Services as a resource family team case worker. And are you responsible for the placement of Sarah and Danny into the home of the petitioner? Yes, I am. Have you had an opportunity to visit the family in their home? Many times. Many and times. What is your sense as to how the children are adjusting to their parents and the parents to the children? This is a story I waited to say, in words I wanted to say for a long time. Um, I'm pretty emotional about this. And, um, the children, I think, have been very blessed with such lovely parents. Uh, I think Mariana and Lucas feel the same about the kids. So I think it's a very uh, multifaceted blessing. Um, it's been amazing to watch their journey with Sarah and Daniel. And um, many long talks that we've sat at your kitchen table and we've talked and I've played with the children in their rooms. We read books together and I, w I will certainly miss that. Kind of a selfish thought, I will miss that. But it's been amazing to watch a family come together like this family has, and I know you have many people who love both of you and the children who have been there for you every step of the way, as have we, and we so, I'm so grateful for, for you as a family. Have you heard Ms. Coleman testify at a number of these hearings? Uh, I know that she is uh, very sincere in her assessment of your family. Thank you for providing that information, Ms. Coleman. Uh, did the department, as part of its work with the petitioners this morning, have an opportunity to prepare the home study? Yes. And was there, in particular, a criminal records background? All those backgrounds were clear. Any concerns in that regard? No. To the best of your knowledge, is all of the information in the home study report true and accurate? Yes, it is. And is it your professional opinion? that the best interest of Daniel and Sarah would be promoted if the court were to issue a final decree of adoption. Absolutely. Any reservations? None. Thank None. you for the work with the family. May you have a seat. Ms. Rutkovich and Mr. Monson, good morning to you both. From the two of you this morning, the court primarily needs to ascertain that you have a clear sense as to the legal ramifications that result from the case before the court this morning and that you remain willing to undertake those responsibilities. For the record, because this hearing is being recorded, would you each please state your full legal name? My name is Yurkovich Monson. Lucas Alejandro Monson. And what is your mailing address? Do you want your children on 9th Street? 
Have there been any changes in your circumstances from what they were as reported in the home study? How have your lives changed by having Donnie and Sarah in your home? Most incredible, amazing, anything we could ever thought about. Wonderful, wonderful journey, but it's been uh, one year almost since they moved with us. So it's a huge change, but we are extremely happy having them and being a family as we are. I feel that they belong to us and that we belong to them, and that was in the beginning that we found these are our kids. That answers the court's next question as to whether you feel that they've adjusted well to being in your home. Yes. Do you have any concerns about their states of health, either physical, emotional? No, they're not. Have either of you at any point in this process met with an attorney? Uh, not to discuss this no. issue, no. Um, are you aware, though, of some of the obligations and rights that would result from the court finalizing the decree of adoption? Because we are, at least, we were informed. <laughs> okay. Do you understand that the law would impose upon you an obligation then to support the children until they reach the age of majority? For the record, the parties are nodding their heads. That's a yes? Yes. Okay. And do you understand that the children would have a right to inherit from you in exactly the same way as if they had been born to you? Yes. And do you understand that although you believe the children to be healthy at this point, that the law would impose an obligation to meet any medical needs that arise up until the age of majority? Okay. Um, are you wishing to have the children's names changed legally? In Sarah's case, what are you um, seeking to have her name be legally? Sarah Maya, Monson, Akash, Yurkovich. Is Maya a family name? No, no. it's just a name we like. Okay. And in Daniel's case, what are you requesting that his name be legally? Daniel plus Monson, Yurkovich. And you're hyphenating Monson and Yurkovich? Yes. All right. Um, is it uh, your assessment that you have the ability to support the children? Yes. And you remain willing to provide them with a home, provide an education up until the age of majority? Yes. Is it your request that the court proceed to enter the decree of adoption this morning? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as I indicated early this morning, I had an opportunity to fully reacquaint myself with the files I had originally signed the certificate of placement and the court confirms that from all information available the court finds that the petitioners are individuals of good moral character who have the ability but most importantly the willingness to as they have for the better part of a year provide a home and a family to Sarah and Daniel, the court is able to make all the necessary findings as to this being in the children's best interests. The court proceeds as to Sarah, who was born on March 1st, 2004, in Longmont, Colorado, to enter a final decree of adoption. Her name is now Sara Maya Monson Yurkovich. She is hereby the daughter of Mariana Yurkovich and Lucas Monson. And as to Daniel, who was born on May 10, 2005, in Longmon, Colorado, the court makes similar findings, and he is now the son of the petitioner couple. Congratulations. Thank you. You are officially the grandfather. <laughs> <laughs>